after an unexpected death of his wife. Theatre veteran Yusuke Kafuku seeks escapism from the sadness of her loss and works on a new theatre project. During the project, he meets new people and a young chauffeur with whom he quests for his answers that have been missing for a while. Dark Knight is here. Why a Japanese film like Drive My Car is essential for the audience to watch, I ask the same to those who listen to podcasts. The critical reason is that there are many people who are disturbed in their lives and they try to find a source of their ultimate escapism through different mediums. Some uh, try to find peace in reading books. Some uh, find their missing puzzle in uh, listening to podcasts. In the same way, this three-hour drama captivates that particular audience who search for answers after losing something or someone very precious. This masterpiece, when watched, runs in your veins and grows with time. Almost every point that the director Ryusuke Hamaguchi chose to make was punching, accurate and so well crafted. On so many occasions this film hit me and I asked myself how excellent were the shots taken? Like Kafuku returning home after the flight gets cancelled or uh, Kafuku's supporting actors trying to continue the performance or uh, Takatsuki's 12-minute conversation with uh, Kafuku in the car or the heartbreak moment of Atari uh, showing to Kafuku her childhood home or uh, the mute girl uh, cheering the old character in the final act. I think it is the method that keeps all this uh, storytelling, shooting a scene and making it look beautiful, compelling performances roll into one and and give a product uh, that stops your breath for a second or make you thoughtful. Films like this move you because uh, Drive My Car is easily one of the best visual translations of human emotions. Even if I corner the tragic parts of the film aside, there is still a tremendous depth and build-up in the writing, from uh, the audition to the final product. The film constructs uh, a precise understanding of the theatre project. There is a reason why this film made it to the Oscars and became the first Japanese film to reach the Best Picture category. Drive My Car created history by becoming the first ever non-English language film to win Best Picture from all the three major prestigious American critics groups that are NYFCC, New York Film Critics Circle, NSFC, National Society of Film Critics, and LAFCA, Los Angeles Film Critics Association. Drive My Car also won three awards at Cannes Film Festival, Best Foreign Film at Golden Globe Awards, and Best International Feature Film at Academy Awards. Everyone performed well, but uh, Hiditoshi Nishijima as Kafuku was the soul of the film. Brilliant performance. Drive My Car overall is a cinematic marvel. I'm 70.